Hey guys, Pratt Captain Dark here. I'm bringing you a new Let's Try episode. Today, we are going to be checking out uh, Abandoned Ship. It was sent to me by the devs. Um, and I was like, you want me to play a game about ships? Don't mind if I do. World Seed. Oh, okay, whatever. There's the seed if you guys want to play it. I don't really... I think it matters. <laughs> Unfortunately, this won't be 30 minutes. <laughs> This game it doesn't like really like the other campaigns they don't teach you anything so if you jump straight at first I don't know what you're doing wild course the birth of a monster okay in that moment the final strand is cut a burst of clarity the horror of your recent existence dawns upon you escape is all you can think of okay the tentacle the tentacles flail wildly in the water people uh, people drop to their knees some through fear, others with adulation, their god is manifest. What is it, Cthulhu? You watch from your position of privilege on a private balcony. You notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Strike them down. Flee this accursed place. Not like I have a choice, do I? Event. Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of your first guard. Shocks the private ridge on the second before he too is down. You are unsure whether they are dead or unconscious. You feel a drip from your fingers. You look down at your improvised weapon, small idol of father. It is cracked and has your cut your hands. You are drifting, but something inside snaps you back to reality. You have to move fast. The cells offer the safest route to freedom. Okay. You stride into prison with faint authority. No matter the place is unguarded in our no there moment of triumph. This game alone would be futile. So you grab the keys from the guard room and approach the prisoners. We got the navigator, the gunner, the marine, the surgeon, and the sailor. I say we go with the marine because he can fight in case we need backup. What is this one? Oh, that's me. Okay. Who is to be free next? Why don't we unlock... Uh, now grants a bonus to performing ship maneuvers and marines. Surgeon can heal crew, but so the gunner is reloading weapons. Uh, this guy. The enemies must have braces by now. Hurry and be so free. I'm one more prisoner. Okay, gunner, sailor, uh, or surgeon. Tough call. I don't know. Uh, for I can see this guy. You can search through the labyrinth path, finally a door, light seeps in through the crossing. I went with him because if the ship gets hurt, like damaged, what are we going to do? You close your eyes and one and see where his brush you're afraid, looking down. Head, you see what you have for a ship at anchor. It was lucky stone and purpose for the call, time to put it better use. Yeah, get away from this Cthulhu place. Yeah, go, 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 go. What I do? Select a crew member by left clicking them. When is, they will have an orange outline. I could have someone in the deck of the ship that prison will climb on board. If you oh right click, sorry. For the ship, okay we're done. Now what? Cut the ropes to attach the ship to the side crew member. Where the ropes to attach to the ship. Alright. This dude. Now what? Now man the ship's wheel to make good your escape. Select the crewman and right click on the ship's wheel. What is this by the way? I'm just gonna assume navigator's good on that. Okay, okay, so we know how to operate a ship. Dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away. A high priest at their head. His scream reaches your ears and drips with scorn. Heed me, betrayer. Our father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. As he speaks, the other cultists disperse, no doubt to begin their pursuit on their own vessels. They'll be sending ships after us. Let's get out of here. Okay. How do I... The coastal fort can open fire on the ship as it leaves the jetty. Marshall's incoming. What do I do? Hello? I don't know, I don't know how to navigate. Marshall has reduced crew member to zero health. When this happens, they become incapacitated and gain a negative. You have a short time to stabilize them. When a crew member is stabilized, they will remain unconscious. Uh, but will survive. If you do not stabilize them, they will die. But won't worry in an instance of freeze the timer before it runs out. 
Shoot. Help, help. Got him. The barrage has damaged the ship hull. In the bottom left of the screen is a bar that shows the hull health. Yep. If this bar is empty, then the ship will sink. Okay, what do I do? During the combat at the bottom right of the screen, the sections health are displayed. Okay. Section health inflated. Blah, 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 blah. Yellow health means it is 50% effective. Red health means it won't function at all. Got it. Repairing the ship. Your crew can repair it. Select a crew member and move the mask. Maybe we'll change that to okay. Uh, where's the guy that repairs? This guy? No. That's this dude. Right? No. What are the? Marine. No, that's the fighter. This dude. Oh, he's a capacitated. Okay, this dude. Fine. We can do it. There we go. The barrage also injured one of the crew. Crew health can be seen around that. You can heal crew by sending them to the sick bay medical table. Okay. Oh, that's oh, that's what that is. I don't know. Well, at least we know how to do that now. What else? What's next? It's not over yet. Take cover. I I don't know how. We've been hit by a weapon that causes hull cracks. These splinter the deck and make the ship take on water. There's water gauge above the health. Oh, come on. Listen for the ship's bell. This will warn you when your water gauge has reached critical level. So sound when your whole health is dangerous. Than it's designed. When you hear the bell, you may sink. You gotta be kidding me. You tell your crew to repair hull cracks. Okay, good. Now what? You can lower the water level by manning the pumps at the back of the ship. Okay. And they get rid of the water. Okay, perfect. Now what? We're nearly out of range. One more barrage incoming. Okay, just stay out of the way. Oh, come on. We've been struck by one with flaming ammunition and fire has broken out. Fire damage technically injure the crew. They will spread and, uh, unless your crew is stinging to them. Okay. Go, 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 go. We're out of range, but stay alert, man. Okay. Click the highlighted button to go to the exploration map. Ooh, okay. Where are we? You are in great danger while you're so close to the cold forces. Leave the area quickly. I don't know where we are. Is that us? Oh, okay. Now what? Oh, we're here? You can check the home of thing, the highlight button. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Okay. Not what? Oh, the surrounding frame marks the limits of your exploration. Beyond them lies tumultuous. I can't pronounce that. Seas far too dangerous for a captain to travel or to return from. Says this. Reach new areas by navigating through the well mapped safe passages known as the gates. I don't see what the difference is. Uh, you must escape through the gate currently highlighted at the bottom of the screen for now. The others cannot be opened. Okay, fine. Uh, return to the exploration view by clicking on the highlighted button. Navigate over to the gate at the bottom of the map. Easily done. Should be around here. Aha. Uh -huh. There's lock. Lock gates can be opened by completing a set of number of events. What? There's an event marker at the gate. Left click on it and sail into it. This will trigger the event. Patrolling cold trip has stumbled upon us. Man the guns. We owe them no mercy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Guess that was it. What do we do? Remember the lessons you have learned so far. I haven't learned anything. Uh, man the cannon facing the enemy. One crewman can man an entire battery of cannons. Okay. Give him here. Oh, right click. That right. I'm so dumb. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. 
Weapons will reload time is banning them in section health is not on there. Keep the cannons banned. Red turns green. Okay. Please hurry. Now the weapons are low open fire. Left click on the weapon button to select it though. Because uh, right there. Right there. What I did? Oh, right click. Oh my god. Auto fire like this. On the count by right click on the weapon button. Pause the game by pressing the space bar. Okay. Once you dismiss it, you can issue orders while the game is paused. Make sure these things are spiraling out of control. Okay. Uh, you know what? Things are kind of spiraling out of control. Maybe we can heal some of these. If I figure out how. A crew gunner to the special patrol will come for a bonus. This city will offer. Rather move over to the must button, the highlight icon. In the bottom left of the screen to see their skill. Where? Oh. Enemy section info. Okay. Over the cursor over the enemy section, you will give in the status. You will see the info if you have. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Well, only so if you have the right level of visibility, which is modified by your distance. But I don't know how to make this go away. You can hover the mouse over any object or UI and get additional info. Make sure you just unpause the game. Is there anything that this guy can heal, maybe? Mass section. Which one's their mass section? This one? Okay. Hurry, come on, come on. Nice, okay. Damage their mass section in the red. Catch up, now you're close to the distance, so we can we'll do it. This thing will be where I shine. We'll have a man in and get it fully loaded, okay. Come on. Let's ram the enemy. You can put on the run like this. When the maneuver bar is full, it's charged and someone is in there. The high never even kill will fill up the bar faster. Press the highlight button to ramp. Oh, sweet. Here we go. For one moment, certain actions like ramming cause a brace for impact. This, the brace secures the highlight button will become active. The enemy failed their braces. The impact even caused one of their crew to be knocked overboard. Oh my god. Um, they, <laughs> they can man the winch at the back to save them. If they don't make it in time, they will drown. Your own winch is highlighted. If any recruitments are in the water, be sure to man the winch to rescue them. Uh, now, finish them off. You can pull back and keep shooting, or this thing you mean choose to board them. Try by killing all the enemy by destroying the hull or making it too much of them. Keep the pressure on the enemy. Wasn't this guy like a fighter?
No! This dude, kill him. Oh, this went poorly. Hurry, hurry, heal them. As the end of that, you are able to salvage anything of value in the story going the enemy did not. They would normally says, Oh my god! This isn't even that tough, apparently. Grab what you can be quicker when we're supposed to be on their way. Bring your section or healing crew that has on right when you go back to the experience. Okay. Well, that kind of like. Now the gate is open, we can flee this place. Left click on the water bridge to leave the exploration map. Uh, this is the world map, it shows which other exploration a uh, areas you can travel to from your current gate. Travel between maps of us. Has a supplies cost? This is like a more engaging uh, sunless sea. You announce to the crew that you need to take a s to take soccer and not to be disturbed. In the captain's cabin, you find more clean clothes, most likely belonging to the poor previous occupant before the cult had their way with the ship. It feels so good to finally be out of your flowing ceremonial robes. You sell them neatly away, knowing they may yet have their use. Oh, sweet. Uh, a female too, wow. Uh, you're now the uh, severed one. Once devotion to father was all the future you needed. Now something has changed. You are no longer an unquestioning crucial part of the whole. Now you are severed and free. You can edit your name in the crew management menu. Wait, can I edit it right now though? Sweet. You don't even recognize the face looking back at you. Who are, were you? All you're certain of is that your past was thrown away by being you know as the father. Cthulhu, some spark within you pierced the fog of your blind devotion. Now you must kindle it. If you have any chance of remaking yourself, then the hunt for answers and revenge can begin. You reemerge onto the deck and the crew snap to attention. We may have skipped you begin, but we are not yet safe. We must make port, then go our separate ways. It's me thereafter. You return your cabin and slump into a chair. Moments later, a strong undercurrent of exhaustion pulls you into a deep sleep. Still loved and always in his thoughts, you were the first, but he knew something within you had changed. Thus you were marginalized, became a symbolic icon with no real power. You didn't care, something in you was gaining strength. Little by little, the fog was clearing. Oh, the game kind of froze. <laughs> oh, there you go, okay. It's loading. A uh, sharp knock on your door snaps you awake. Moments later, you stride back on deck to issue commands. The cult fortress is far from inhabited lands. We'll need to navigate through open waters before we can find a port. Okay. I gotta, I gotta say that I'm really enjoying this. Oh wow, this is the lone ship view. It allows you to change the default settings that we'll be using combat. No, I mean it's pretty good. There's that's me. There's the other people. What's this mean? Press a button in the distance bar to set your preferred range. In combat, this will mean your ship will only try to reach that distance. Well, here's good. What else? Uh, saving your crew positions means they will start combat in your chosen uh, place. Arrange your crew in the most optimal locations. I think here would be good. Like, put these guys in the gunmen. This guy here. Two on one side. Okay, perfect. Button to save their location. What what button? What is that? Oh, this. What's next? Okay, if you ever need to return your crew to their safe location, you can press the highlight button. Pretty good, useful stuff. That button can be used to bring the ship about. In battle, this can only be formed if your maneuver bar is fully charged. Here, you can set your preferred side to face the enemy when you start battle. This can be used if you equip each side with different styles of weapons, such as one with short range and the other with longer range. Okay. When you're ready, press the highlight button to return to exploration. Okay. Cool. What does that mean? There's a light us in distance. First, I'm going to see where that's located. Oh, okay. Cool. Lighthouses have their current surroundings fog over removed. You're visible upon 
map entry containing detailed charts of the local area as well as providing high vantage points sailing into the event marker next to the lighthouse will remove all remaining fog of war yes that's awesome return to exploration Okay, you must continue trying to escape the cult by fleeing into this event. Locate the exit gate and complete the required number of events to unlock it. If you sell the lighthouse first, I'll explore the area. Yeah. I thought we already left. What does this mean? May as well. Look at that. Now what? The teeth? What does that mean? Zero out of four. So we have to go this way. But in order to do that, you have to obviously do the missions first. But what's the teeth mean? No explanation, eh? Cool, okay. We'll just, uh, we'll figure it out. No worries. I just see what the four requirements are. Probably like complete these missions. What's the teeth? The teeth you clearly your your early days as cultists come to mind, days spent testing the shape and strength of your newfound devotion. Racked by existential doubt, you threw yourself from the pinnacle, like so many acolytes after you, into the rocky waters below. You emerge reborn ignorant of the legend of your rite of passage would become. Coming back to your senses you notice a body bobbing into the water in the water. Only the most fin fanatical or sadistic would still force neophytes under their tutelage to prove their love for father in this way. Do you wish to investigate? Yes. You see the bodies treading water as you approach. My brothers, we're not worthy, but I survived. I have been chosen, he yells, as if he's been expecting you to collect him. You suspect he's half delirious from exposure, but his devotion is obvious. He's too much of a risk to bring on board, but with cult pursuing you, there is no time to drop him. On a nearby island. You can still hear him yelling as you sail away. Even now he thinks this is the la latest trial. If he survives, he'll no doubt serve father with true zeal. Okay. That's pointless. So what's the, what do we have to do here? Like, I don't get it. There's one, two, three. We've done one of them. So I guess we gotta... We gotta face whatever these things are I guess the teeth was number one or was that the 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 lighthouse uh, an imposing cult fleet is spread wide across are they searching for you or merely pursuing some other ominous errand either way the closest ship change course to intercept you we must flee attacking now would be tantamount to, suic to suicide tantamount to suicide although the cult ship is quite dogged dogged in its pursuit you eventually lose them Okay, that's this is easy. I just like uh, visit them; like they serve no purpose. So, me as well, and collect loot while I'm at it. Uh yeah, I'll go to that and that next one. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. A cult ship has been doggedly pursuing you for a while now. It's small but light. It's slowly gaining. Through the spyglass, you see a familiar face manning the helm, and your heart sinks. Samuel's parents were some of your first initiates, and when they perished, you ensured the orphan was well looked after. Even after all these years, you imagine he still looks up to you. You remember proudly watching as he was given command of his first ship. It didn't matter that it was raggedy, a uh, workman-like vessel. The same ship pursues you now, although he has clearly upgraded in the meantime. What does he seek? Knowing Samuel, he probably has questions. You sold the ship, allowing him to move closer. No! Samuel, no thanks to you, was always devout. So you're not sure what you can say that will sway him to your cause. But there is a bond there, one you might yet use to save him. You watch as the ship closes, his expression unreadable. Once within range, he doesn't slow. It is within you realize your sentimental sentimentality has cost you. Samuel only has retribution in his heart. He probably thinks he's redeeming your soul. You resign yourself to battle. Oh shoot. Okay. Gotta move fast. Get closer. Get this uh, guy here. Oh shoot. Oh 
shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Wow. That's a lot of damage. Nice, got him. Can I wrap? Did we win? Oh, we won. <laughs> Get wrecked. You could see the look of Betrayal Samuel's eyes. Oh shit, that's not good. One of our dudes is down? Um, sorry, betrayal in Samuel's eyes, he would not surrender, nor give up until you had paid for your transgression. As he fell, the look on his face said it all. Why? You can't, either, you can't ever remember having family and friendships who were not encouraged in the cult, but Samuel was dear to you. You can't stay here. And as you tell the crew to forget about the salvage, you struggle to keep your voice level. I think leave combat will heal, right? You drop to your knees, it feels like a lightning storm inside your skull. You sense a mass of ancient intelligence emerge from it. Scanning the horizon, you see an unnatural disturbance in the water. And it's approaching fast. What? Full speed ahead? What are we looking at? Oh shoot, what is that? You can't avert your eyes at the royal. Closes this and whatever it is, it will be upon you in mere moments. You're not prepared to fight such a beast. Fight it off and flee. When your maneuver bar is full, press the flea button to initiate your desperate retreat. Can I repair some of this ship? Oh my god. Uh, sever the tangle that bind the ship. Okay. Uh, Sever, please. Now flee before he attacks again. Okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Hurry up. Why can't we repair anything? Oh, it's coming again. Up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Shit. Go, 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 go. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Go, go, flee. What do you mean? Hurry, please! Oh, come on! Flee, please! I'm trying. Okay, we're done. Holy, that was close. <laughs> I didn't know these things were actually... You've wounded the creature and escaped. Somehow you feel in your bones that the Kraken will need time to recuperate before it returns on. So you should not dally. What do I do? Can I leave now? Three out of four? Yeah, I do. Okay, damn it. Fine, let's see what this is. 
Your heart skips a beat as you notice cold colors flying high on the horizon. You maintain course speed and after all, no reason to suspect you at this distance. As the minutes drag up agonizingly on, the cult should vanish from sight completely. Oh my god. Oh, ration of grog. Yeah, absolutely. Get some health and let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Let's hurry. Where's the health? Go, 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 go. Oh, thank God. Now the danger has passed, the crew bombard you with questions. You feel responsible and share what little you know. That creature, the cult, worship it. It's part of what they call the Great Project. Refocus your efforts on reaching port as quickly as humanly possible. For their sake and yours. Okay, so we're out of the cult's reach, right? The dull ache in your head recedes slightly. And you realize you can't remember a time without it. You feel more like yourself again, and wonder what it will take to banish the ache entirely. Charts you found in the captain's cabin show a nearby port. Land safe from that infernal morons. On a port where you and your troops can be safe. Okay, so I'll point towards it, so we just follow the arrow. Should be... Somewhere here in this vicinity. Aha! Once the ship is docked, the crew are seemingly reluctant to part ways. After all, they would all still be prisoners of the cultists or worse without you. You suggest a farewell drink in the nearest tavern. The first round is solemn, each unable to stop dwelling on their own morbid thoughts. Another round? The drinks flow and the tension eases. As another empty tankard is banged on the table, the crew make... Life pledges to you. You manage to secure a cheap room with plenty of beds upstairs. Once you've slept it off, you can all part ways. Your head aches more than it should and unease creeps through your body. Heavy mead is a different story to ceremonial wine. Uh, I feel like if I drink more, we're going to be in trouble, but screw it. Shanties and ballads are butchered. Feet on occasional bodies shake the tabletops just as your typical evening in the dockside grog hole. Another round. Uh, yeah, that's alcohol poisoning. A game of blades inevitably ends with blood drawn. Money changes hands, but one hand refuses to let go. So the burly innkeep helps him fasten airborne out of the door. What if we keep drinking? You <laughs> desperately need to relieve yourself. You stand up and sharply and grab the table and stop yourself from falling. Laughter ensues. Maybe I've had enough. Tentacles grab from everything and no escape. They predict your every movement, attracted unerringly to you like a compass to polar north. Wrapping slowly around you, they pull you inexorably down, down, deeper and deeper. You jolt away, clammy head pounding. The rum, surely, yet. It feels more familiar than that, more insidious. Something within you cries out, and then so do you, an inchoate scream. Your crew stir from their beds just as the door flies off its hinges. Two shadow forms crossing the threshold. Two arms. Luckily, none of your crew were hurt. The pain in your head subsides. The two corpses are Halifron, a nightmarish conjoining of man and sea creature. Superstitious folk tales made real. You've seen them before, but the crew clearly never imagined they would. Downstairs, the innkeeper is dead. The first hint of dawn looms upon the horizon. Yeah, let's slip wearily through the streets, back to the ship. In your cabin, angry discussion rages about the Halifron while you sit in silent in contemplation. You know in your heart of hearts that hiding is pointless. Land offers no haven. The cult will not rest until they have you, and all free men, under their yoke. This is problem only solved by shot, steel, and willing hearts. Your best and only chance is to strike a crippling blow to the cult to kill the Kraken. Tell them what you know. The crew stop and listen intently when you speak up. You explain that the Halifron have always been out there, unseen and preying on those who stray too close to the water alone at night. You tell them if, of your headaches and how you feel there is some connection between those creatures and the Kraken and yourself. You plan to go to the offensive to cut off the head of the sea snake is met with a mixture of admiration and amusement. They are not the heroes of old hunting mytholo- yeah. They are not the heroes of old hunting mythological sea monsters. You cannot force them to join you in what may be a suicide mission and despite the regret they leave. Oh, am I by myself now? <laughs> it is just you now. You have a little time to prepare for your mission. Your first step is to visit the shipwright before recruiting some more members. 
Some more crew. Didn't they like swear for life? Perhaps Quinn will buy greater loyalty. Shops are where you can purchase new weapons and upgrades, obtain supplies, repair your ship, or purchase a new one. Your golden supplies are found here. Okay. You can repair your hull by clicking one of these buttons. Your hull can only be repaired in port. Uh, on this occasion, we have repaired your hull for free. Oh, thank God. Uh, to buy weapons and upgrade your... Drag them onto correction slot in your ship. Purchase them more by left-clicking and dragging onto the ship. Here? I guess so. Pretty good. It, like, we have... We were missing, like, a... A gunner, so I'm gonna get them. There we go. No one here is with good with, uh... Medical, so... And I don't think I can afford anymore, so let's just leave. You leave towards the docks that are starting with the growing crowd. Dozens of ships flying, the cult insignia are approaching, the curious intentions are palpable. I believe. Several ships seem to have had a similar idea. And to skip the incoming cult vessels, some slow down and surrender, others speed past the cave, while some engage in bloody battle. Ship bearing down fast doesn't leave you much choice. Shot and steel, lads. Let's do this. Come on, come on. Yes, I think we're doing well. Halifone are aquatic monsters that appear on the cold vessels. They can dive into the water. Swim at great speed on board you. They are fierce and melee fighter. Be especially wary of half and with the red skin. Oh shit. That one doesn't have red skin, but pretty fearsome. Got him. Back here. Oh, okay, we did it. That wasn't so bad. Defeated. The fleeing vessels dealt with three more cult ships tacked towards you. You rapidly raised the sails. We win? Are we done? Open the gate and flee. Leave combat, I guess. The bar highlighted at the bottom of the screen. There isn't so close the cult are to uh, tracking you down. Once all the bars are uh, fully lit, you will be chased by either a cult ship, the Halfon, or the Kraken itself. When dealing with events using the cult symbol, you can decrease the bar by defeating the enemy. If, however, you flee, the cult will be onto you and the bar will increase. Oh, good. Where is the uh, section that we need to go to? Oh, good. We don't even know. I thought that was a port. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Ah, it's this one. I need four events, of course. Why is there smoke here? Ah, there's a cultist thing. Bell stowing in the nearby area where everyone cult is on a slave raid. They're not long left their ship. They've long not long left their ship, which is beached and protected by another cult. 
vessel moving to engage you. If we can take out the first ship quickly, we can bombard the beach vessel while it is vulnerable. <sighs> yeah, he's right. We could be fighting one by one. Uh, whatever. Cultists on the island band the raid having spotted you too. The local island have gained a short preview. If you can destroy the first ship, we will not be have to contend the two assailants at once. Okay, here we go. <laughs> We're doing this now, I guess. already shoot two of them I don't know what the hell that is it's like poison Turn the damn! Win the first battle one, you immediately turn your turn to the second mission. Oh my god, again? How do I face the other ship? Leave combat? Beach cheering you with your shells, they slam the go over its crew. You feel only a slight good for leaving the cleanup duty to the islanders before saying so again. Cool, they took care of it. How do I repair this? I guess I need to find like a medical kind of symbol. Oh, good, another uh, cult. Oh, wait, what is that? Smoke on the right reveals itself to be a culture of incendiary shell, whether it has sustained damage, fireball, or summer. So those who watch the crew start to attack and destroy it, it's too dangerous to give chase so you can avoid a fight. Yeah, but then this thing lights up, doesn't it? Attack and destroy. Maybe they're... Move closer. Come on. It's poison. Ram it. Grace for impact. We get him. Did we win? I think so, right? Yep. <laughs> Sinking. Let's go. 
I'm low on health, but whatever. So that believes behind a few flowing valuables. Those seeds are out, but thanks. Okay, cool. Combat. Timer decreased. Okay, okay, we defeated them. Cool. What's this? How many cultist things are there? Damn. Also, how many do we have left? One more. I guess they'll just do this one. Closest. You recognize that this is being haunted by a pursuing cult vessel. It was one of the lucky ones that still managed to flee the port when it came under attack. It look appears to be running out now, though. The shots from the cult ship are inching closer with each passing moment. Wait there in your mind. Tactical, their focus is catching their prey. We'll use this chance to flee. Yeah. If this increase the two ships become dots on there, you'll never know what particular story was that. Was that is that four now? Can I leave? No, I have to have finished it. Damn. I thought they would just let me read it and it'll give me a break, but no. Something around a headline, you blunder a fleet of cold ships? Pull about now. Continue. Oh, that's not good. The cult knows we're here now. What is that? I'll take it. Is that four events or it still doesn't count? Yes, it does. Okay, I'm up. So long, suckers. Go, 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 go. Yes. It seems the cult has thrown caution to the winds since your departure and the appearance of the Kraken. Halfin on land, blockading a port, the audacity galls you. You give up any hope of a quiet escape. Whatever, at least we escaped. Lying awake for hours, you rack your brains over how you can fight a deep sea creature you cannot reach. Fitful sleep finally claims you. An ancient unfathomable consciousness bears down on you with terrible weight. Tentacles rise again, snatching at you, but now you can hold them off. You sense frustration and curiosity from the consciousness at your newfound strength. A huge, gaping maw emerges from the blackness, ready to envelop you. A beacon appears in the hot and encroaching darkness before sinking beneath you and exploding in absolute illumination. The maw shrinks back with a roar. You sit, bolt, upright in your bunk, taut with realization. If you can somehow hit the Kraken underwater, it may emerge and become vulnerable. But how? An indistinct, an indistinct memory forms, emerging as if from a thick fog. Yes, now you remember the isle from where answers live? What? Sure. You can, uh, you call the crew to attention. We make for the Isle of Landfall. In the artificers of the great library. Now, don't. What? <laughs> if the artificers in the great library don't know how to help us, no one will. You pause, letting this new information sink in. Uh, without updated charts, we won't know the safest sea routes there, so we must find an explorer's guild in a nearby port. Okay, cool. Okay, that's a nearby port. Dead man's spine. People go about their business and are aware that their neighbor port was captured by the cult. You make your way to the Explorer's Guild so you can get information on the safe routes uh, to landfall. On the way, you pass several of the other places of interest in the port. Uh, if you ever find yourself on the wrong side of the law, you can copy, uh, pay off fines in the Magistrate. Well, good thing we don't have one. You know what? I'm going to leave it off here. As a let's try, I don't want to make this video too long, but I really enjoyed this game. You know, like zoomed in, like you can actually board their ship. You can you have like varied options. So I really like uh, this game, what this game has to offer. And I uh, definitely recommend it. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below uh, to their Steam page. And uh, otherwise, yeah, thank you so much to the devs for sending it. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I shall catch you on the next Let's Try. Take care for now and see ya.